All right, you ready? Let's do it. All right. Cool. I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> Literally, who, who, whose DoorDash order was it? Was it you? No, I think it was the food particularly, right? Oscar. No, no I it brought, was it was like two cases of water and the chips. Oh, oh you yeah. Like yeah. You for GoPuff? No, I, I'm from DoorDash, but hmm. yeah, I guess it came through was from... Was it like a cardboard bag kind of thing? Mm-mm. No, no, it, 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 was, it was my stuff. It was my stuff. Wow. Crazy, crazy. Well, the universe works in crazy different ways. Exactly. So, um, yeah, it's funny because um, he didn't really recognize me. And I, told, and I, sh- I shared him. I followed him. He goes, oh, I have some of your TikTok saved on my account. Um, you, you, now you know who pays more views. Yes. Now you know who pays more yes, views. Okay, love it, love it. Um, all right, so, what, so tell me a little bit more about yourself. What do you do? What you've been doing? And... Um, what you're looking to get out. Uh, so a little back history about me. I'm born and raised in Dallas, Texas, 27 years old. Uh, most of my jobs have been in customer service. So I'm an outgoing people's person first. Um, I tried to get into wholesale, I'm gonna say back in 2020, 2019, somewhere around there. I just didn't have the patience for it at that time. So I just went on about my life. Uh, recently, I had some legal troubles or whatnot, I finally got that through and done, but it's still on my record, so I can't find an actual job, which is why I'm doing DoorDash uh, full time. So the position that I'm in now, I literally got up one day, I was doing DoorDash, and I opened my phone, and videos of wholesale came up. Kevin came up. (laughs) I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna continue to go through his page, go through another guy's page, I think it was like Cam, Cam Olivar or something like that. Um, And since I didn't really have anybody to talk to about it because I know if I hit anybody up on TikTok nine times out of ten they're not going to respond back so I tried chat GPT hey Hey guys if you guys are looking to get a recording of this workshop and the one before that uh, click the link down in the description box below so you can get access to the workshop recordings yeah and I just start asking it all the different questions and it kind of matched up with the videos as I was watching so I took it upon myself to go ahead and start finding buyers through Facebook uh, groups um, trying to reach out to other people, trying to find my buyers, doing driving for dollars. Me and my wife, we do that uh, in our spare time if we're not doing DoorDash. I have a whole list basically, but it's all in two zip codes over here in Dallas. Um, So I'm just here to try to see what I can get out of wholesaling, what I can do to get more buyers, more, um, more sellers, I guess you could say to close deals, just the all around. I just want to know all the bases of it and hopefully go up to what, Kevin does sub to or um, just actually become a real estate agent, anything in that in that department of real estate. Okay, I love it. I love it. Um, so right now your door, you're um, driving for dollars. Yes. So you have, so you so you got how many? So you so you so you write down all the houses that are distressed. Yes. Ugly houses, right? Ugly houses, but again, you're in Dallas, so you go into one area, you're gonna see that, but it's gonna be the owners not wanting to move because it's probably a, a house has been in their life for a long time you okay. know um so i get a whole lot of no's just Love because it. they they don't want to sell it at this time i'll try get try back again in about two or three years something like that um so i'm just fine trying to find the right area i guess you could say okay are you are you knocking on the door like when you're driving for dollars or are you just getting their i'm not skip tracing it I'm really just skip tracing. Now, if I see a property like the one across the street, I'll stop and ask a neighbor like I did yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I asked you guys what was going on with it and I'll get information, see if they know the owner. Uh, yeah. If they don't, then I'll just do my due diligence on my end and skip trace, find the owner myself. Yeah. I, I think it's worth it for like that, like you just skip trace and get it like that. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. How many, how, how many houses are on, on your list right now? Right now, I have a spreadsheet of 50. I haven't skip traced the whole 50. I've skip, skip traced about 25 of them so far. Okay. 50 houses, that's not a lot. Right. Uh, how, how, many, how many are you adding onto on that list every single day? To be honest with you, not every single day. Um, okay. Like I told you, I do DoorDash full time. The way that my finances are set up right now, I, I, I only have time really to do a little bit of wholesaling, but I gotta focus more on DoorDash, you know? Okay. I hate to have to focus on DoorDash like that. Right, right, right. Um, but that's kind of what's keeping me and my family afloat, afloat right now. Okay, perfect, perfect. That's to, that's totally fine. I, I I just want to ask because if you're driving around all the, all these houses, like like why? I mean why? Because I I did door I did door knocking. I did driving for dollars when I first started. And what I would do is I would um, 
grab a Google map. Okay. And there's like, you know how like you can see where the residential properties are just by the way the streets are designed? Yeah. And, and, and you, you look at it long enough, you can just tell how, how, how they're designed. It, it means residential. And I look, and I'll just drive like a zigzag. And okay. I'll, go, I'll run through probably 250 different houses within probably mm -hmm. 10 minutes. Okay. Right? So right. It's, 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 I don't think it's a time constraint thing. Okay. Right? So like when, the, when, you're, when your day is finished or when, before you're about to start your day, I'll possibly start in, an, in a neighborhood that you're never, you never, you never in and just literally like map out the route that you're going to take. Okay. Now the only reason why I have the houses I have in the area codes is because I do DoorDash mainly just in downtown. Okay. So I don't, I don't branch out anywhere else to get those other houses. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's perfectly or, fine. But then uh, w w w you, want, you want to have a big list. You want correct. to have a big list, right? Like 50 correct. houses, the, the, the likelihood of you getting multiple deals out of that is, is very low. But if you have, you know, almost 1,500 people, 1,500 houses that are just ugly, and, you just, and, you, and you're hitting that list every single day, you'll be, you'll be able to get a deal. So, so here, here's, here's, here's a strategy with driving for dollars. You don't need to, number one, you don't need to update the list. Like, do you know like how, how updating the list goes? Uh, not necessarily. Okay. Updating as, updating uh, notes or something like that in there, or no? Yeah, yeah. so, so you, you know when you go after like houses that are in foreclosure, they're about to lose a house? Right. Like those, how those that particular information they need to be refreshed every every week, every month, right? Because okay. you know other people get be, people get get um, behind on their payments all the time, right? So, but 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 the demographic of people that that, that have ugly houses, they're like, you know what? I just don't have time. I, I inherit this house. I don't really um, I don't really have money to you know uh, keep this house uh, in in a good condition. So you, it, so with the, with the door knocking, with the, with the driving for dollars, I, I will even set up a goal for you. I want to have 1,500 ugly houses in my, in, in my list. Okay. And once you get to 1,500, don't even drive for dollars anymore. Okay. That's a list that, is, that nobody else has and you just, all you need to do is keep, keep calling them. So let me let me actually give you let me actually call somebody. So there's this guy named Colby. There's Colby Wheeler out of Vegas. When I first started driving for dollars and door knocking, Colby was the guy that he, he's like he still door knocks to this day. And when I left Vegas, I had a I had a my driving for dollars list that I had. I think I had like 800 houses on there, and I never even touched it. And Colby knew that I drove for dollars, and he's a fix fix and flipper. He goes, hey, like. What are you doing with that list? Mm. The list that you're building right now, I had, you have 50 people, I have 800 people on my list. Right. And I said, Colby, what are you doing with that list? Uh, I mean, so, sorry, he says, Kevin, what are you doing with that list? And I'm like, oh, I'm just sitting in my, just sitting in my Google Drive. He goes, oh, can I, can I have it? I'm like, yeah, sure. And then he, and then all he does, and then he has a, he has a mess, he has, he's calling all these people on the list every once in a while and he gets deals like pretty consistently, or at least I think he did. Let me, let me give him a call to see, because I know I got paid out on a deal like a couple years ago, and I'm just curious to see what his strategy is, because you want, you want to hear, you want to get advice from people that, that's actually still doing driving for, driving for dollars. Right. He's going to call me K-pop, watch. K-pop, <laughs> yeah, that's my name, K-pop. <laughs> that's my name, K-pop. Buenas tardes. Hello. Hey guys, if you guys are looking for a personalized game plan for your business so you can scale your business from doing one to two deals a month to doing six to eight deals a month, uh, click the Calendly link down in the description box below so I can give you a personalized game plan for your personal needs. What up, Kevin? Oh, hello. You call me Kevin for the first time? Kevin. <laughs> Since when did you call me Kevin? You're an adult now, so I feel like I can't call you K-pop. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I was expecting you to call me K-pop. <laughs> K-pop, what up? Hey, I have, I have a quick question for you. Yes. I'm doing my workshop, and, and we were ordering food, and, and a DoorDash driver comes, comes uh, drives, uh, and a door driver, DoorDash driver delivers the stuff for us, right? And he's like, and, and, he, and long story short, he comes, he, He's a wholesaler here, here in Dallas, and he's driving for dollars. 
and I'm trying to get it I'm trying to give him some advice on driving for dollars but I haven't drove drove for dollars in over like three years but remember when I remember when I uh, when I left Vegas I gave you that drive for dollars list like I think I, I think I had like 800 people on there and over a thousand oh yeah um, I still get deals on that list dude. Oh, that's, uh, that's, that's exactly what I wanted you to say. Because I, he, he's driving for dollars and he, he only has 50 houses on the list. Can you believe that? Yeah. Hey, you do that in one day, dude. Yeah. So, so what, what, what I told him to do was, and correct me if I'm wrong, if you're driving for dollars, I think once you get to like 1,500 people, 15, uh, 1,500 ugly houses on, on that list, I feel like you, there's no reason to build up the list even further, don't you think? No, then it's all just, you're just following up from that. So I look at that list every month and I see other investors that buy houses that were on your list every month and I have to take them off. The, the list that I built three years ago, it's st still a good list. Yeah, three years ago, they're still distressed. They're still hard to get, the, the, that homeowner's still hard to get in contact with. And whoever finds them first has just been a, been persistent in finding them, getting a hold of them. Right, right. What do you? What do you? So, what, 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 so, what, so he has fifty houses on the list. Number one thing is he should be, he should be able to build like fifteen hundred houses on the uh, fifteen hundred ugly houses on, on that list within th within the next thirty days. That's my guess. Yeah, easy. Easy. I mean, but, and that's and how, how many? How long? So that's thirty houses a day. I think that will take you 25 minutes. 30, 30 houses? 30 houses, finding 30 houses, 30 ugly houses in a neighborhood. I think that will take you 25 minutes. Uh, depends on the house, but I mean, I'm looking for, depending on the, the neighborhood, I'm looking for pretty, pretty heavy distress or some kind of sign of distress, so. But maybe an hour? Yeah. You could okay. probably do that in an hour. Okay, so, and then he should be, how do you, how do we skip trace for free and get a really good number? Um, I use Skip Genie, it's not free, but it's pretty cheap. It's 60 bucks a month, but, um, and then anything after that is like 17 cents a skip. Okay, okay. How, or, or he can even do four one, and that's like twenty five bucks a month. But like, that number is really accurate. Yeah. Okay. So what 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 should he say? Hey, my name is Kenny. Sell your piece of shit. Do you want to buy it? <laughs> do you want to sell it? Um, yeah, just I was calling about the property X Y Z Park property. Seeing if you're interested in selling. That's it. That's it. So, so you, so if he, if he wants to get his first deal consistently, or not consistent, not even consistent, if he wants to get his first deal in thirty days, you think he should go spend an hour each morning before he goes for DoorDash drive, before he goes door dashing, and say, yeah. I want, I'm looking for, and pick up thirty ugly houses, and just, just call them every single day, every go through that list once a month. Yeah, if you do that every day, you will guaranteed find something. Yeah, you'll find a deal. And, and, and if he has time, then he should even go door knock on that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you end up finishing the, um, that townhouse that, that you got from the list? That, the, the, ho the house that burned down and the, you couldn't find the air? We, we ended up just selling it. We, we cleared, cleaned it all out because it had a lot of fire damage and it was pretty trash. But we ended up selling that thing. And it was a six-figure hotel flip. Amazing. We didn't even flip it. We just hotel it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. Um, okay. That's all. That's all I really need to ask you. So I, I'm I'm doing I'm doing the workshop, and he just he he just happened to be my DoorDash driver, and I'm doing a hussy with him. So I wanted to. Uh, I haven't done door, dri door driving for dollars in three years, so I figure I get advice from someone that's actually doing it. I do it every day. We just did it this morning, my wife and I. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Question for you. Oh. So, with that, he has list, a question. Yeah. As I'm getting at 1,500 houses with that list within that 30 days, am I waiting until the very end to call that list, or I'm calling at the end of the day as soon as I get those houses for that day? Did you get the Did you get the question? I didn't. I couldn't hear him. Okay. So, so the question was. 
should you, should you call those numbers at the end at the end once you complete the fifteen hundred, or should you should you call them as you build it? Uh, it's just a matter of where you're, how you can, how much time you have. So if you want to time block after you go and drive all those properties, and you know, and spend time in calling those those pro calling on those properties. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll, if I if I like the property and I feel like it's a hot hot one, I'll sit there and I'll find the number right from my phone and I'll call them right there in front of the house. Yeah, yeah. Or or what you can do is if you if you if you really want to be organized, how about spend the next two weeks building out a fifteen hundred drive for dollars list, so that you like you literally build a list first and then start calling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but so. I think fifteen hundred email fifteen hundred even is even small. I think even going to two thousand is the bare minimum. Yeah, where is he at again in Dallas? Dallas, yeah. Yeah, there's plenty. Oh, I don't. You don't even need to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I we 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 are we're at an Airbnb doing the workshop, and the he goes he goes. Do you know the piece of shit that's right in front of your house? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, we don't live here, but thank you. Yeah. <laughs> like I was I was in. Um, Palm Beach for like a week and I found stuff in Palm Beach just from the minimal time that I had so there, there's deals everywhere just being consistent every morning doing that well, one, one more question for you one second so are you looking for ugly houses in nice neighborhoods or are you like 50 on the street right now? are you looking for ugly houses in nice neighborhood or are you looking for ugly houses in like ugly neighborhoods in like in the hood <laughs> Um, typically, the distressed things, the distressed properties you're gonna find are like 1980 and older. I mean, the, the 90s for us in Vegas, it's still they're stuck on homes, and it can be a little harder to, to be obvious that they're they're dis distressed. But for what I find, it's like 1980 and older. So wherever those neighborhoods are at in, in your area, that's kind of where I stick to. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Anybody else have any questions? No? Just FYI, this is, his, his, this is Colby Wheeler, and this is where, who I learned how to door knock from. So if you have, a, you have another question, Kenny? Not that I could think of okay. at the moment. Um, Colby. Yeah. Um, I think I might be in Vegas in the next couple of months to do another podcast with Brian. Let, let's hang out. Let's hang out. I want to come see you in New York. Uh, yeah, if, if you like New York, yeah. <laughs> My family wants to come. We'll, come. we'll come say hi. Okay. Send me a picture of a, send me a picture of uh, Sheppy boy. All right, I will. Okay, bye. Okay, man. We'll see you. Bye. Sheppy boy is his his name is his son is Shepherd and I call him Sheppy boy. But um, that, that gave you a little bit of clarity, right? Yeah. Yes, it did. But the answer that I gave to you was very very close to the answer that he Kobe gave to you, which was, is you need to build out a fifteen hundred people driving four dollars list ASAP and. Um, 50 people is, 50 houses is, is too small. Too low, right. Like, like even, like, see how he was like, the list that I, the ugly houses, list of all the ugly houses that I built for you three years ago, when I was living in Vegas, well this is more than three years ago, almost four years ago, Kobe still gets deals out of it. Mm. And, and the list that you're building, the 1500, I mean, go for 2000, okay? Got it. The list that you're building, it's, it's literally gold. Like if you just consistently call them and say, hey, I'm looking to buy houses in this neighborhood, do you have anything else? Like see how easy the script was? Yeah. And on top of that, um, um, the, the, the skip tracing. I know there's cost to it. I don't recommend Skip Genie, but what I will do recommend is 4WARN, right? It's F-O-R-E-W-A-R-N. You, you, need, you need to be a real estate agent to have it but you don't need to be the agent. You can have access to agents that will give you it. And it is, it is a, it, I've never, it's, it's a really, you get really great numbers. And it's, you know, and I think it's like 20 bucks a month and then you could get unlimited skips.
Okay. Because the problem with driving for dollars list. If it's not actually unlimited, they, they flag you after like a 500, like the request for an upgrade. Yeah, yeah. like a thousand. Yeah, yeah. It's but isn't a, that for what you're doing though, it's like. You should be fine. It's so what do y'all think about true, truepeoplesearch.com? Because that's what I'm using right now. It's free, but the, the, the accuracy might not be there. You might be cycling through so many numbers. If you find an agent, like when I called the guy right across the street, like I, first number I called, it was him, he picked up. We talked, he has two, he has two lots, right? Okay. So it's like, you know, for 20 bucks versus you trying to do all the extra stuff and try to cycle through numbers, the amount of time you're spending, like I think it's best to just find someone for, for what you, because the 1500 person list or 2000 person list, right? So, okay. so and, and this is another thing, and Kaipa, I'll get to your question. The, the problem with, the, the problem with driving for dollars list is you have, like some of these people are really hard to get a hold of. Right. So true people search is where everybody, if, if, if everybody gets a hold of the true pe pe uh, people through true people search, then everybody will be doing deals. But one of the reasons why Colby get, gets deals than, than most people, than, than anybody else is because he actually gets really great numbers. So, the, so sometimes, he, he, will, he will find somebody, he'll find a number for 123 Main Street and not find a single, then nobody else could find the, find the actual reach the owner of the house and he'll be the only one that has access to it because he actually spends the money on the good data and right. he calls, he goes, yeah, I'll be down to sell it. Oh, nobody else, and you come to find out nobody else has reached out to that homeowner. Not because no one's going after it, nobody can find the number. Right. So if you're gonna, if, if you're gonna put it like, I truly, I totally understand like, you know, a lot, a lot of things you don't want to, you know, the, 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 the subscription cost adds up. But if there's one thing that I would really have heavily ask, uh, in, recommend you is like getting the good numbers for that list. Because once you get the good numbers on a drawing for dollars list that you created and you're consistently hitting it, like it's, you, you're golden. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. See how, see how Kobe's still getting deals after three years. And guess what? I don't make any money. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love Kobe. But Kako. I have a question, bro. So, <clears throat> you said right now you're only in one zip code? Correct. How um, big is that? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, what area is that? Like, this, this zip code we're at now? Not in this zip code. It's more of, I would say, kind of like Oak Cliff area. Just the whole Oak Cliff area by Sock and all that other. Um, hey, um, so, so, where, Oscar, where would you recommend, bro? Yeah, like. That's what that's what my wife was telling me that so I would it was. Say, like, try to go to like anything that's Dallas County and Tarrant County, so like okay. Dallas and Fort Worth, like stay out of that. Like okay. everybody's hitting the same houses, and you have like uh, institutional buyers spending like fifty thousand dollars in marketing every week to like get those houses. Okay. So you're better off trying to find like the small towns in between. So the colony. It's great if you get a chance to like, and, and it's DoorDash, right? So like, I know you normally do it in Dallas, mm -hmm. but you can always just like drive a little north and turn it on anyways, and just be around like Frisco, the Colony, and kind of like the north area. Right, right. Like the, the Toby. Um, and you will find way more, like way less competitive. Uh, a lot of like nice neighborhoods where like the ARV stays around like 300, 400K. Okay. And if you find any houses in the colony or any of those like tiny areas, I'll get your number and I'll buy them. Okay, that'll work. Uh, and then the stuff like Arlington, Irving, even way more north like Sherman, Denison, like almost to Oklahoma. Mm. Like those deals are amazing. They sell super quick. Okay. Um, and it's way less competitive than what you're gonna be like in Dallas or Fort. Okay, I appreciate that. So it's more like an area thing too. Like if you do it in the right area, you're gonna get a lot more results. Gotcha. What about nice. like Bedford Deals first? What about like yeah, Bedford is yeah. great. Uh, I have a, a, a private money partner that like lives in, in Bedford. And every time I go visit him, I'm like, dude, I should spend an hour here driving for dollars because all these houses are shit. Right. Uh, so yeah, Bedford is super nice. You want is like a neighborhood. This is like a crazy neighborhood because like there's already million dollar houses and stuff. But what you want is like a neighborhood that all the houses are kind of shitty, but then there's like one or two comps already, like one or two houses right. that have been flipped already. So if you see the white, white exterior with the little wood mm -hmm. and stuff, like that's all you need. You can grab every other house, and because you already have your comp. Okay. 
Right. Okay. So you kind of understand what that means, like yeah, you like see one house that was recently flipped, but recently flipped, and then the are still looking kind of kind of ran down, yeah, distressed. Like, like that, like my my mother-in-law, she just bought a house in uh, the colony, and in her neighborhood, there's like two or three that were already flipped. Mm -hmm. All the other houses are like less than 1980, like older than 1980 build. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of older people still live there. And, uh, so it's like way easier to get through to them. Right. Um, so yeah, I would say like just change the areas where you're doing it. And again, let's connect with some like, uh, I will buy them. Like, uh, yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah. And, and if, he, if he can make sure he goes to like the meetups and his stuff, it would be amazing. You need to, you need to connect. Yeah, your, stay in the meetups for sure. You need to go to the meetups. Okay. That, that's where you find, that's where you, like you said, you said you, need, you only have three buyers. That's what you told me yesterday, right? I only have three buyers. Okay, that's a problem. And I met those four. through. I met those through four. 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 Uh, <laughs> I met him I'll face to face. Awesome. There's five. All right. <laughs> and, and, and we got another buyer all the way in the back. She's on her phone. <laughs> so we just doubled your buyers list. <laughs> Thanks. Man. Um, but do you think you got, you have clarity on, on on what your what your next move is? Yes. Um, Get it, bro. Go get it. You got it. You're a hustler. I appreciate all the help, guys. Hey, this is this is it's a an paid, honor. This is a paid room, and everybody's helping you out. And yes, be, sir. Be, and I was like, I was like, I was telling Oscar, like, do you think we should? I should invite him or something? Because like, it's a paid room. But um, we, everyone was like, you're a hustler. Like, we want to give you some of, us, you know. Man, I've been hustling ever since I was 10 years old. And I was okay. 10, I had my own little lawnmower service. From there, I just found different things to make money. Um, yeah. Even. If once I become successful, I'm not even gonna say if because I'm gonna speak everything into existence. Once I become successful, I'm trying to when. invest. When I become successful, I'm trying to invest all of that and make a bigger business, whether it's continuing in real estate or as small as owning a laundromat or something. You know, just try to get passive income, just so that way my money can work for me and I don't have to work for my money. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm. I've always been a hustler. I appreciate this opportunity. Um, if there's any other meetups, please let me know uh, in yeah. our groups. I'll, I'll be there for sure. Love it. Love it. Good job, man. Thank you. Cool, bro. Yeah. Give it up. Give it up. Go, bro. Um, yeah. Turn your. Uh... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you guys are looking to scale your business from doing one to two deals a month to six to eight deals a month and be completely out of the business and be the, actually the owner of the business, click the Calendly link down below so I can give you a personalized game plan.